Okay, let's go back to org and see how much we got done in the last Pomodoro-ish. The blur gets it one letter at a time, I'm trying to figure out, well, almost, right? I definitely got that done. Um, I'm not there yet at all. I don't even have eight guesses. I don't have the idea of guesses at all. But I, I have this one. I'm pretty sure I have that one. I'm gonna mark it done. Um, I need to make a mark here for another one, which is uh, multiple guesses. This is... Whew. So let's take a look at multiple guesses. I need to should display all the guest letters and all underscores. So now I'm going to do running to make sure that banana, ananas, and grapefruit have two letters in common for my guesses, so I don't have to think. I used A, N, I can either kill this or replace it, how about um, main. So, I'm going to hangman.guess A, hangman.guess N. So now, this is basically the same, oh boy, basically the same guesses, except I have another one here that is about N. This test, I believe, will fail, because right now I'm not, wow, it's failing because hangman's not defined. There we go. I am not keeping track of multiple guesses. All right, so I need to keep track of the successful guesses, or I can get them dynamically from the current guess. But getting them from the current guess might be tricky because I may have multiple versions of it. And that might be annoying. So, let me take a look at how regular expressions work. Just to check. Uh, I'm going to say um, a string hello dot replace. I want to replace with an underscore everything that isn't an E. Oh, and I make it global. And L. Okay, so that, that's worked exactly, exactly that way. Everything that's not an E or an L will go this way. That's easy enough. So, I need to keep track of my, of the guesses. So this dot successful guesses is going to be an empty array, maybe. Can I do like array dot join like in Ruby? This is a string, also a string. Let's go back to array. And join seems to exist. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I can totally keep it every I can actually keep them in an array. Which means that if this is a successful guess, right, so this is actually unsuccessful guess, right? Which makes me think I just had to think about this.
So I need to make it a function so I can so I don't have to think about it again. Um, so this would be this dot secret word dot index of letter minus one. And now this is just this dot unsuccessful guess. Yeah, that makes sense. See, if this is unsuccessful, return false. And then I'm done. Otherwise, it's a successful guess. So I need to do this at successful guesses dot push letter. And then I need to build a regular expression based on those successful guesses. So I can replace the current guess. So actually, this is a function that replaces the hidden um, that creates a new successful uh, creates creates a new display word. So I need the function here called um, creates new display word, and I might be able to use that for the thing on line four. Let's find out. Um, this function needs to take well nothing actually nothing at all this is just this dot create new display word and it takes these two lines and then it does something awesome with them right this line of ooh that's not right this kind of code is more complicated though, because you need to build this thing here with all the guess. Oh, actually, no, not that bad. Because it's just this dot successful guesses dot join. Right? Oops. That's not quite right, apparently. Well, I don't know why it's not quite right. It was a nice guess. But everything is hmm. push, right? So this is now, it's the same breaking. And this breaking on line where for me? Where is my line of code that breaks? Hang person spec line 18 right here display word dot split should contain an A and it doesn't well what have I broken um, it's a new hang person that takes in uh, Bananas main banana. Oops. Where hangman is a new hang person. Bananas main banana. That seems right. But clearly it isn't. That is not helpful. It's a person. New hand person takes dictionary. So this should work? Well, it breaks, of course. If I take one word here, there, I've got a new hangman. And it's guaranteed to be hang to be an ass, right? So Oh, look at that. This apparently, oh well, yeah, that, that doesn't work. Because I have to pass in the letter. Okay, so that's a different failure. I did save it, right? Yeah, I did save it. 
Okay, so I got this, and then I'm hangman that guess A. Is it handy? Fine. Is it better than false? I should probably have like a a nicer thing here. See, I just made a change that wasn't test driven. I don't have a good reason to write return true other than I saw return false before up here, and false around defined doesn't mean anything. But this get this functions. Yeah, I mean, true or false is probably the best you can really hope for. So, hangman, the display word is bad. That's totally right, though. So now I'm gonna get. I have a fun job of doing this. Plus, hangman that successful guesses that join. That's absolutely the correct one. I want to replace everything that's not an A. When I create an O, you, hey, hey, I need to call the function. There we go, that's way better. Okay. So now I'm almost at the point where I actually I'm at the point where I can test a winning condition. Uh, for that I need to well, I need to know what word I'm passing in, so I need a smaller dictionary. But let me commit. I can guess multiple letters. Actually, so hang on a second. Let me go back to this test, to this uh, hangman.org. I've got multiple guesses possible, definitely. I don't, okay. If a player reveals all the letters of the secret word, they win. So I need, I need to determine what winning means. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I don't care about a lot of the weird other edge cases like being able to guess or whatever. Um, the standard would be that after I guess, I I know whether I won or not. But I figure when I see the display word, I'm gonna I'm gonna be happy enough to know I won. So maybe I don't really have to put that in my basic code yet. Um, maybe I need a function that checks the state. Because right now I'm just doing it very piecemeal, right? It's all very, very broken down. But I need something that's kind of an encompassing of being a user or like it being a user's turn or notifying the user of the state. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll actually not do this yet. I won't do the winning bit yet. And I'm just going to take care of being penalized and doing eight incorrect guesses. I should be able to do that. I've definitely, I've kind of sort of got this one done. So let's go to uh, the number of guesses. It penalizes you if you guess a wrong letter function. This way, I'm going to say hangman. I guess Z uh, and then expect and then guesses remaining that two equals seven. That seems right. I'll just make uh, a test at the top to indicate that they have to change. Here, this will now die because it's not defined, uh, and this that guess is remaining is initialized at eight, and now expect eight to equal seven. All right.
So this is after unsuccessful guesses here. Oh, well, it's a good thing I put this because now I, I have logic to put in here. That's great. Uh, I'm going to say this dot guesses remaining minus equals one. And it passes. Great. Okay, I'm quickly approaching the part where I have to tell the user something. And I haven't even really ever run this code. The best I've done is during the console. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't want guess to tell me because I feel like the point of the point of guess is just to handle the guessing. So I think I want a bigger function that wraps it and then it will display information to the user. What should this function be called? I want this function to do, well, um, interface with the user? Nah, user input? No, that's not good. I can call it banana for now, or x. That's good, I have no idea what to call it. If only I had a rubber ducky. I'll pretend. Let me grab something. Okay. So, here's where I am. I'm at the point where I have this hangman or hang person JavaScript code, and I can guess words, I can guess letters in the word, and I can move my way forward, and I can be penalized by having my, the number of guesses I have left going down. But at this point, I can just go into the negative and nothing will happen. Or I can get all the letters right and nothing will happen. So I need to implement boundaries. And I need those boundaries to be present to the user so that they can't interface with, interact with the, the system too much. Okay, so I need I need a, a barrier function that is the interface with the user. I have this guess one that I don't want to play with because it's got logic in it already that's just for guessing. Um, but I need barriers for the user. I don't want to do a loop for the interface. That's silly. It's not silly, but it's it's not what I need right now. I'm thinking out loud or in my head. I'm going to call it user input. It's not great, but... Um, Tells you if you've won or lost. This is kind of a. This might be too big a test. I'm not sure yet. I need a new hangman object here so I can make a small thing. Um, new hang person. I'm going to pass this word in it. I know it's going to be really hard to guess, right? Uh, yeah, it's going to be too big a test. I want to have... I want to do this. And then I say... Um, hangman dot... User input... A. See, this is... Alright. So this is... I'm not happy with this. But I'm tired, so I'm just going to take it for now and go with it, because I think there's something good there. Um, maybe like accept input or whatever. But it's going to output something too. It's going to tell me what state I'm in. So I'm going to say hangman output equals whatever comes out of this. And then I'm going to expect hangman output to equal you win! I'm gonna expect that to happen. So, this is now even more important than guess. Unless maybe guess, see, see guess is what the user does. So maybe guess should be the barrier with a guard. Yeah, and then I can use something like check. 
Yeah, check. Check is good. So guess is what the user does, and then like check get check guess. Check guess. There you go. There you go. That's I like this better. Okay. It's time to update some of my code here. Um, I'm gonna do replace string, and I'm gonna replace guess with check guess. Ooh, that was unexpected. But guesses remaining will work out well for me. This is all check guess. This is now called check guess. And then this one is now user interface, it's hangman.guess. And that makes sense. Um, now here, I need to do like um, if lost eventually, right? I need to do if one, and then I need to do uh, check guess. And I'm I'm guessing check guess will only happen if we have it lost or one, because well, there's no there's no work to be done, right? Let's take a look and make sure we only have one failing test. Oops. Okay, I've got two failing tests. Why? Oh, yep. Um, yeah, that was kind of a silly search and replace I, I did there. Because this is all... Yeah. See, look at this. This is all kind of very silly. So, let's do the if one thing. Um, Oh, that's gonna suck. How about I can't? All right, I guess I need to do both for now until I have a better solution, because oh, never mind. I don't have to worry about the the barrier yet. I'm not writing that test. The test I'm writing is that I'm almost at twenty five minutes. The test I'm writing is that here, this happens. So now I need to say if uh, this dot current guess equal this dot secret word, going to say uh, I guess return you win oh, I was hoping this was, this was gonna work but it totally didn't why didn't it work where's my hang person do I have any hang person code here there it is hang person spec 937 that's not unexpected. Uh, and then here I'm doing guess A. I guess that's not the winning condition. I would expect it to be. Well, maybe it isn't. That's kind of sort of completely undefined, isn't it? Maybe that's because hangman dot secret word and hangman dot current guess aren't the same. Did I break something? Maybe I did break something. Huh.
Weird. A dot replace A G underscore. No, that's that's correct. And the crazy thing is, is that's the only test that breaks. Those are the only tests doing check guess. Huh. Check guess is returning true, which doesn't matter. But this is totally not returning the right thing. I'm very unhappy about this. I broke something. Okay. All right, so what, what have I broken? It's crazy, right? 40 lines of code and there's like weird, crazy things going on. So, oh, you know what? I know what I broke. Right, look at this. I need to pass in the letter. I keep on forgetting to pass in the information. There you go. I can win.